Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. Now, I this like I said, this is Dream Day. So this is from Kassan Purple Flame. And these are some more prophetic warning dreams. It's really something. I had two dreams similar to yours, except they were from a long time ago. I had one when I was about seven. Hmm about the tornadoes, and one as a young adult, just a few years ago. The first one when I was a child, among many others, including plane crashes, random deaths, etc., about the tornadoes is one that really stuck in my mind. I was driving around a city in a dream I was an adult, with my grandfather and someone else I cannot remember. We were on the outskirts of the city, not sure which one. We were driving away from it real fast. I got out of the car for some reason and looked back to see three snakes swimming toward me in a retention pond on the side of the road. Well, I felt a foreboding feeling like get out of there and proceeded to drive away. We got a good distance away from the city, which was surrounded by open land for some reason other than the roads, and stopped and looked back towards it. I, I too, turned left, as you said in your dream. When, when I did this, I saw several tornadoes come down from the sky. I was astonished when the tornadoes also started to rise from the ground. The ones that came up from the ground were black for some reason. Dark, dark black. I can't remember much else other than the tornadoes being so, so many. I've never imagined there could be that much in one sitting. I was pretty young and not really exposed to Hollywood, TV, and all that stuff. So I value this dream a lot, wondering where the heck it came from. Okay, now, Patricia loves two cents. That is referring to a dream I had a while back where I saw three tornadoes. And I was looking at this beautiful tree that blew up in flames. It didn't blow up, but I mean it ignited in flames suddenly. And then I saw a white dove hovering over it. Well, I believe that God was getting me ready for an assignment in, in the near future. And I'm still waiting to see what that assignment is. And he was referring to that dream. Well, let me tell you this, you guys. We have no idea what's coming. You hear me? And we really, really need to be ready. And whatever God shows us, we need to warn. Now, we're not being fear mongers. We're not trying to spread a whole bunch of panic. That's not what this is about. And if you're not a fear monger if you tell a two-year-old child to keep his hands away from the stove or out of the fire because they will get burned and burning hurts. That's not being a fear monger. But with us, when we deal with these prophetic dreams, what we're saying is, if it's a dream, so be it. Great. But if it's more, what could you be doing in your life to prepare in, in ways of drawing closer to God so that if he wants to warn you, you will have an ear to hear and you could possibly escape danger or harm. But if you're not attached to God, if you're not connected in any way, shape or form, you won't hear the warning. Ergo, you won't know of a warning and you will be swept up in whatever happens, whatever disaster, whatever attack, whatever uh, crisis occurs. There's no way for you to protect yourself because you were not forewarned in advance. So it really behooves us to draw close to God, not out of fear, but out of common sense. Firemen don't fight a fire in a suit. They don't go in a suit and tie and fight a fire. They don't fight a fire in a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. They put on 
the garment that's insulated so that they will not get harmed. And we need to put on Jesus Christ because he will insulate us from all the dangers that are out there if we use a brain that God gave us and the common sense he gave us and we do everything it takes to stay on his good side and stay connected and plugged into God. He's the one that knows. He knows where we ought to be and he knows where we should not be. So that's all I've got to say. To all of you who want to call somebody a fear monger, I'd rather plant a little bit of caution in the atmosphere than play like everything is cool and a whole bunch of folks die because they're not even thinking that something could be brewing. Okay, I'm done. God bless you.